girl and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a Artemis from the new Ready Player One movie inspired makeup tutorial. And I'm not going to explain my reasoning for um, a dramatic aspect of the makeup that I will put on at the end because I don't want to spoil the movie. Though, if you haven't seen the movie, I suggest you go see it as soon as possible. It is amazing. There's so much nostalgia in it and so much references and fandoms and it's the ultimate nerd movie. Um, but as you can see I already have my foundation um, and concealer on and I already did my eyebrows. So I'm just going to be starting off with contouring if I can find my brush. And so I'm going to be using this little contour thing from Paula, Paula Dorf and it does it have a shade. It's in Bora Bora. It's a actually a bronzer, but I'm going to use it as contour. And I'm just using this little tiny brush from an old Ulta thing. And I'm just doing a light contour. It's not anything too harsh. And now we're going to do some light highlighting. I'm going to start off by using this highlight color, which is kind of like a natural color with a gold shimmer into it from this palette from Macy's. It doesn't really have a company besides Macy's or name on it. And I'm just going to be using an angled brush for that. And actually, I did forget to contour my nose, so I'm just going to do that real quickly. And it's the same contour, or bronzer powder and brush. And highlight your 
nose. I always just like to take a brush over my nose to kind of blend that together a little bit more. And don't forget Cupid's bow. And then I'm also going to take from the Kat Von D Alchemist palette the color pink or opal, just lightly, and put that over my cheek bone. And we'll throw a little bit on the tip of the nose. Okay. And we're done with highlight and contour. I'm not going to do blush. I don't really like doing blush. I don't think it looks that great. Oop, my beanie's falling off. So now we're going to get started on the eyes. And I actually have already put on some eye primer. So let me just grab all my brushes. There we go. And the three main palettes I'm going to be using today is the Artemis Game Over uh, palette from Ready Player One that you can get at Hot Topic. And it looks like this. It's really pretty. Then the cat or the uh, Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette, um, which I always use in my videos. And then, of course, Kat Von D Alchemist palette. So, we're going to start off with the Ready Player One palette. Actually, no, not this palette. Start off with the full spectrum palette and I'm just going to layer a base of white which is bumped or bump from this palette I'm just going to take the color Paranoia from the Urban Decay palette just lightly on a packing brush. I'm just going to put that on my lid. Beanie does not want to stay on today. And now we're going to go into the. I just dropped my brush. Now we're going to go into the um, the game over Artemis palette, and we're going to use the color Robotica, this nice red one down here. And we're using it on the same brush, and we're just going to go over that light.
going to use the color Hacker on the fluffy brush. Uh, Hacker's that one. I forgot to point it. This hat does not want to stay on, so it's coming off. My hair is a mess. And we're just going to blend that out. And these pal this palette is not too pigmented with a lot of their colors, so... It works really nice for just an overlay of a color before I start going in with darker colors again. Then I'm going to take the color Paranoia again, take it on the fluffy brush. I'm just going to put that over top of it as well. Okay, then I'm going to go lightly in with uh, Gossip, which is that, and I didn't point these ones out, but that's Bump, the white color, and Paranoia. And I'm going to use that on the edge of my packing brush. I'm going to put that in the crease lightly. I'm going to go back in with Paranoia on the lid. Packing that down. I'm also going to sweep it on my Lash line. And I'm going to take the color Alchemy and put that in my crease as well. I'm going to blend that out a little bit.
I'm going to go back in with Robotica on the upper part of my eye. Okay, and then I'm going to take from the Katmandi Alchemist palette the color Opal, which is pink, and I'm going to take it on this brush. I'm going to put it in the inner corner of my eye and drag it out under my eye. I'm going to blend out the inner corner a little bit and my under eye and I'm also going to take that color and lightly put it on the center of my lid. Okay, and now I'm going to pause and put on my eyeliner and mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did not put my mascara on yet because I forgot about a step I'm going to do later that I can't have my mascara on for. Um, so now I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to use this uh, L'Oreal Infallible Paint in Navy Yard. I'm going to be using the pink. I don't like the brush that comes with it, so I'm going to grab one of my applicators. Okay, so now you could leave this look here by just putting on mascara and being done with it, but I'm going to go a little bit further. So I'm going to start by doing putting a hairnet for wigs over my mouth. I'm going to take the, which one from this? I'm going to be taking Ravatica and Hat from this, or Hacker from this palette, and a little bit of Paranoia and Siege from this palette, those two, 
I'm going to be patting those along the center of my lip. I'm going to use this brush to do so. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of alchemy, which I used earlier. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, it is not nearly that pigmented. I'm going to actually go back over it. But this time, I've done it, I've done this two ways, one with just this and the other with lip gloss over top of it the first time, so. I'm thinking it just sticks better to the lip gloss, so I'm going to try one more time. I think that worked better. Ah, there we go. So now you have kind of a scale pattern on the center of your lip. And I'm actually going to put it that same pattern on this eye only. And like I said, I'm not going to explain why. I'm just going to do it. And this is the reason why I couldn't have mascara on
we're going to see if this works. It actually works pretty well. Okay. And now I am actually going to take the same brush dip it lightly into the opal color from the Kat Von D palette and just lightly tap it over to give it some shimmer. get some more of that stuff to put on my lips. Okay, and now let me just do my mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes. Now, what, something that would be cool to do is if you have pink or red mascara to do that, but I do not. So I am using um, Full Lash Room Waterproof Mascara by CoverGirl. You could also add fake lashes if you wanted to, but I'm not really good at those, so. And this is your completed look. Let me give you a close-up of the eye, the lips. And um, you won't understand why the eye thing, unless if you've seen the movie, but if you have, you'll understand it. And so this is my Artemis inspired makeup. Um, products that I forgot to mention, uh, what they were that I used were, for my foundation, I used Tarte's Clay Stick Foundation in the shade Fair Neutral. For concealer, I used Revlon's Color Stay Concealer in the shade, I think this is just the shade light, but I do not see it anywhere, so yeah, we're just going to go with it. it's the shade light, and then Urban Decay's Primer Potion, just the original, as well as my eyeliner is Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Oh, and I did actually forget one thing. I forgot to line my waterline with white, which this is ColourPop's Cream Gel Liner. I don't know what just fell. And this is to give you a more animated, cartoon-looking eye. Uh, back to the products that I forgot to mention what they were. I used this Airspun Loose Face Setting Powder. And this Stay Gloss Rimmel London Lip Gloss thing. I don't think it has a sh Captivate Me, that's this one shade. Um... Yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please like, comment, subscribe, and see ya.